There's y equals x squared. As simple as it gets, right? We're going to do a rotation of this thing around. Well, part A is the x-axis. So that's, well, that's what you would have done in lower levels of maths. But then they say, okay, now do it around the line y, uh, sorry, x equals one. So let's draw that in and see how this fits. Okay, so I'm gonna put something like here. So if I make that x equals one, and if you have something comparable there, right? You can see that it's the area uh, bounded by the curve there, the x-axis there, and the line x equals one. So here's the area that they're going to form a solid out of by rotating it, okay? Now they're rotating it around this axis. X equals one is the axis, right? So here you go. That's the kind of rotation we got. So what kind of shape are we going to get? Well, let's see, something like this symmetrical around here. And there you go, there's my shape. Kind of a pointy looking cone there, right? Now, that's not too hard. Let's think about how we approach this by thinking about the annulus that we get when we slice this perpendicular to the axis, because that's the way slices works, right? Um, I'll draw it down here. What kind of slices are we gonna get? Something like this. There you go. Now, there's actually no hole in there. So as an annulus, I just draw that in there to indicate, well, that's the center, okay? But I don't need to think about a big radius and a little radius anymore, which is nice and simple, but there's still some traps in there, okay? now. It's an annular disc, so it really should have some, uh, a tiny bit of width there, okay? So how am I gonna deal with this thing? Uh, this is y equals x squared, right? So I'm thinking about this area under here. So I wanna know, well usually I think about a big radius and a little radius, but I just want a big radius. It's here, isn't it? That there, okay? So I wanna know, what is that radius in terms of um, this function here, okay? So, how can we approach this? Don't forget, because we're rotating around a vertical axis, so it's a little bit like rotating around the y-axis, right? You're not going to rotate x squared, are you? Okay, because that would go around this axis. Sorry, this axis, right? Um, instead of x squared, what are we going to rotate? Any suggestions? What, what, what would you call this? If you're looking at it sideways. Hmm. When you look at this thing sideways, right? It looks a little bit like the square root of y, doesn't it? Looks like a good candidate. That's, that's, how the, that's how the square root of y grows, doesn't it? Okay. Is that the radius of our annular disk? Hmm. Who reckons it is? Any takers? It's a shame one of the people who asked me this question isn't here um, because this is what you get. And it's, it's a fairly common sense way to approach it, right? Uh, the problem is, <coughs> excuse me, this here is not the square root of y. The square root of y is this distance. Okay, it's the distance from the curve to the axis, okay? But we don't want that distance. That's not the area that's being rotated. What is the area? It's the part to the right, isn't it? Well, I guess it'd be something like that, okay? That's the radius, or, or that's the radius, or that. You get the idea. Okay, so if it's not the square root of y, what is it? It's, it's one minus, isn't it? Because that, that whole distance there, if that's x equals one, that whole distance is one, right? So if this distance here is the square root of y, then I wanna take the difference, okay? So therefore, the big radius of the annulus that I'm gonna um, add up, right, is actually one minus that. Okay, now, I sort of glossed over this before, but it is helpful to um, sort of distinguish this, um, doing volumes by slicing from the regular order integration that you've learned in two unit, three unit, okay? What we'll do is write it out as um, proper sigma notation, because that's really what we're doing. We're adding up a whole bunch of slices, okay? Sorry, we're late. Thank you. That's okay. What are these slices? What am I adding up? I'm adding up a whole bunch of slices from, now, where are my boundaries, okay? I'm thinking about this going upwards, okay? I've got a whole bunch of slices like this, okay? In fact, you can see them sort of like that, okay? So I'm going from y equals zero to y equals one. Can you see that? I guess it's just a coincidence that your x boundaries are the same, okay? 
Take a seat. Now, that's where I'm adding them up, okay? But what are the actual things I'm adding up? This thing here, right, this annulus, it'd be, um, well, let's see. It'd be pi r squared h, wouldn't it? Like, that's just a cylinder, and then you'd subtract in here. But the thing is, I don't have an inside radius, so I just have this. Okay? But a couple of changes we need to make, right? I actually know what r is. We have to find it here. Okay, does that make sense? So really, instead of capital R, I should be writing 1 minus the square root of y. Squared. Okay, there's my radius. Okay. The second thing is, instead of h, I shouldn't be writing h. What am I considering? What is the height of my disk? Okay, so now, you write in a few different ways. Um, really, the best way that we should write it is as... Delta y, okay? Delta y is an actual length. It's, a, it's comparable to h, I suppose, when you're doing first principles, okay? So, delta y, from which dy gets its name. And I want to think about this thing as the slices get thinner and thinner and thinner, okay? In other words, the limit as those slices tend towards zero, okay? Now, all this is, this is sort of like your prelude to what integration is, right? This idea of taking a number of slices uh, that are infinitesimally small. That's what integration is. But we're writing this to show that I know what I'm adding up. It's these annular disk things here. Okay. Now, being that, these pieces, uh, one, two, and three. Okay. They're what define integration. Okay. This next line, I can write an integral. I'll take that pi out the front because it's just constant. Don't worry about it. And now I can form my integral. Okay from naught to one of this guy. And now since I'm considering this, this process has changed now, it's not just adding up a whole bunch of things, I'm doing an algebraic process, namely integration, okay? That's the transition from delta y to dy. Okay, and that's just an integral. We can deal with this, can't we? Let's do it. Pi out the front, naught to one. What do you get when you expand? One minus? One minus? I'll write that as, rather than um, square root of y, I'll write that with the power because I'm going to integrate, aren't I? Y. Plus y, good, with respect to y, okay? Let's integrate. Okay, 1 turns into a y, what's this guy become? Minus. Power goes up to 3 on 2, and then you divide by a new power. So I think it's going to be 4 on 3, yeah. is that right? Yeah. yeah, and you can check that out by multiplying back and differentiating, right? That three, the threes will cancel, that four over two, cool, it works. Good, plus y squared on two. From naught to one. Okay, now, as you can see, because all of your terms here have y's in them, you know that your lower bound is just gonna to go to zero, that's nice, okay? And then what's gonna happen here, I'll get one minus four thirds plus a half, and there's my lower bound, okay? Uh, what's this guy? Well, that's, that's negative a third. So it's a half minus a third, which I think is a sixth. That's convenient, isn't it? Okay. But there you go. And um, don't forget, this is a volume, so it's um, cubic units. There you go. Right? So really, I think the beginner's trap is in not being careful about how you define the radius of, your, of the annulus. Okay. Once you've got that, the rest of it just falls out. And you do want to, um, I mean, this notation, this kind of thing, this is what makes it sort of volumes by slices, right? It's more than just uh, an algebraic process integration. It's, I know what's going on. I'm adding up a whole bunch of these, okay? Is anyone asking questions about that? People who just came in, maybe I'll give you a second to catch up and write that all down. But like I said, very simple question, right? And um, fiendishly difficult if you don't really know what's going on. I think that's 